In this video, we're going to take a look at the easy process of taking a road design file from Civil 3D into Softree Optimal. Civil 3D users can now take full advantage of all the geometric optimization benefits. Softree Optimal is a powerful engineering tool and the easiest way to reduce your earthwork costs and save engineering time. As we take a look at our process, we're first going to export our cross sections using the Softree Optimal plugin our surfaces and alignments via Land XML, and once in Softree Optimal, enter our constraints and costs. This is going to produce our optimal vertical alignment, giving us a cost and an earthwork movement schedule. We can then take it back into Civil 3D. Softree Optimal can be used at the beginning during your preliminary design phase and at the end for final optimization. Here, we're gonna quickly go through the steps to take a design out of Civil 3D and into Softree Optimal. The first step is using our Softy Optimal plugin to export the assembly cross sections. This is going to create a custom CSX file. To do this, we select our alignments, sample lines, design surfaces, and corridors from the export corridor dialog. Step 2 We're going to save our original ground and our alignment profiles as land XML. This should be something that Civil 3D users are relatively familiar with. Next step is setting up Softree Optimal with our Civil 3D project. We'll start with setting up our new optimization based on our original ground. We're then prompted to provide our initial alignments. Here, we're going to be using the land XML file we created in a previous step. A couple of import options and we're ready to optimize. Softree Optimal includes several windows for viewing your design. You've got your plan, profile, section, and data windows, and your alignment properties panel where most of the optimization is controlled. Step 4. Let's set up our optimization using that Alignment Properties panel. Now Softree Optimal is not a black box. Really, it's a very versatile engineering tool that the designer or engineer can control. So here in our Vertical Optimization Options dialog, this is where you can set your road standards, your control points, your pits, costs, um, and any other constraints including you know, horizontal and vertical right-of-ways. And this is really what controls uh, the optimizer's ability to produce a result. And now to actually complete the optimization. Now the amount of time it takes for an optimization to process really depends on the complexity of the problem. It can go from a few seconds to a few hours. Um, however, we do have some tips and tricks as you get started to help you through that process and to better understand your timing. You're not limited to just one optimization. You can actually run a variety of different options and assess which one is the best. After running a few different optimization options, we've selected variable curves and tangents. This is a much more realistic design with fewer vertical curves. And now we're ready to take this back into Civil 3D and continue with the rest of our design process. Similar to how we brought the alignment in, we're gonna be exporting our optimized alignment as a land XML file. Once back in Civil 3D, we're going to import our new land XML file, create a profile view, and superimpose this on our original for comparison. The end result is a significant reduction in earthwork costs, often in a matter of minutes. 